So before we get going here, you probably have some questions about what all these files are and the breakdown. So let's just do a very high level of what's going on. So as we progress in the course, we're going to have our test suite down here in our main JS file. This is really where we're going to be writing our tests. And usually above is going to be our actual code that we're going to be testing. Right now, you can see it's failing. There's nothing going on in here. You might actually recognize this challenge from the JavaScript miss. That's where it's from. So we can write tests for some of our JavaScript miss challenges from earlier this year. Now, to the right, you can see we have one spec. A spec is our test. You can see we have one test, right? This it is our test. We also have one failure. If you go a little bit down below, you'll see it has this insert dashes. That's our grouping. And then the caret to say nested in there is this test that's failing, insert dashes in between characters. Now, if you didn't know, a JavaScript function actually returns something if it doesn't have a return by default, and that's undefined. So if we had changes, you could see now it's going to pass. And we still have our one test or our one spec and then zero failures. Now, let's go ahead and return that. We'll talk a little bit about some of all of these files. A lot of this is boilerplate, but it doesn't hurt to know. Our boot.js, this is really just loading our Jasmine stuff in the background. You don't really need to understand what this is doing. This is just, again, boilerplate. In our index.html, just some setup here to load some of these scripts that we need so everything works nice and, and well. If you want to run this in a browser like so with a nice output, we have our jasmine.html. This is more stuff to help with that. Some CSS for all of our Jasmine. Lots of craziness here. And then our jasmine.js, about 6,000 lines of JavaScript. Um, not compiled or anything, but that's going to be really the Jasmine library in the background that I've added to the file here and that we're loading in the index.html as a JavaScript tag. And then down below to the left, of course, we have our Google Slides. So that's really the setup here. Let's go ahead and jump into it.